Hey guys, so today's topic on getting real is about um, disappointment and uh, letdowns and setbacks. So I just want to talk about that for a minute. Um, so yeah, uh, you know, for, for people like us with disabilities, uh, and even if you don't have a disability, you know, life has setbacks. And I feel like people with disabilities have more setbacks than, uh, you know, than most. So, um, yeah, I know that I've had my fair share and it can be really, really tough, you know? Um, like, how do you handle that? And the best thing that I've, I've figured is, you know, with time, you just, I mean, you never get over it, but you, uh, you deal with it and I think it takes a lot of patience to be able to handle that kind of thing um, I wanted to tell a, a story here uh, you know I've had my fair share of setbacks one of the big ones that I've had is that you know uh, when I was younger uh, I missed uh, New Year's I was in the hospital and it was the year 2000 yeah big one so that was a huge setback for me, you know, and yeah, it was disappointing and I wish that I wasn't in the hospital for that, but uh, you know, it happens. So uh, another setback that I've had was, uh, you know, I had a ton of surgeries when I was, you know, five years old and I was in kindergarten at the time and I actually had to retake kindergarten. So. Yeah, two years of kindergarten, just because the first year I was, you know, in the hospital most of that year. So, yeah, that's, it, it's it's crazy. Um, you know, other setbacks don't have to be surgeries. It could be, you know, for example, you know, if you're in a wheelchair like me and somebody's house has stairs, uh, that's a setback. Or if you can't go, if you can't go hiking, that's another big one, you know. Uh, there are things that we we can do and that there's things that we can't do and there's things that we can do but just a little bit differently so yeah I, I think you know it's just one of those things that we experience more often than others I have a couple of really cool stories though there there have been some some times that I have overcome some setbacks uh, one of the times was in um, in, uh, I think it was uh, a young men's group in my church and we all uh, went camping but we went down south to uh, Arches to go camping and I remember that the the path to, to see the arch you know the big one in Utah was definitely not wheelchair accessible but what was really cool is that uh, you know the guys that were with me they they lifted my wheelchair literally and, and carried me most of the way there and I got to see see arches because of them so uh, that was to me that was really amazing that they were able to and, and willing to do that for me and I overcame that you know without them it wasn't it was impossible so so that, for me uh, that was a huge triumph another uh, triumph that I had was uh, again, it was with these young men, and we went to uh, we went camping again. We were in Lake Powell, and if you've been there, it's it's um, a pretty big lake, and there's a lot of red rock and cliffs. There was this one cliff that I wanted to uh, you know climb, and it was it wasn't like a straight up cliff. It was kind of like a, um, a mountainside, you know, like a little hill, but it was pretty far up there, and you know, I made a promise to myself that I was going to climb that, and I did. I put socks on my hands, I got on my hands and knees, and I crawled up that mountain. So, yeah. Anyway. I think the real test here, you know, uh, is to overcome these things you know whether that is to just move on when you can't fix it or 
or you know for me what I found is uh, you know determination and you know just just that willingness to really go after what you want and to to have a positive attitude I think those are the the key ingredients if you really want to get over a letdown and really want to get through that so uh, anyway I, I would I would just keep that in mind that's that's my personal advice but yeah anyway thanks for watching guys I will talk to you next vlog